Construction walls are up. They are finally taking down the grave site. I'm so happy about that. What's going on everybody? Tony here. Welcome back to another episode of Fun Facts with Tony. We are here at Epcot today and I'm going to show you some of the fun facts about the World Showcase. Now I could go to each country here in the World Showcase and show you about like two to three fun facts about each one. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give you a few of the fun facts from select countries that you may or may not know about. First stop, let's go to Germany. Scratch that, actually we're going to stop here in Norway. And the fun fact you may or may not know about is just straight ahead. And here we are. The fun fact you may or may not know about is this grass up top here on the building. This grass here is actually real grass. This is not fake. So, when the grass needs to be cut, a cast member will climb up here on actually all these roofs with grass and they will trim it down. As we're making our way to Germany, I want to take notice of another fun fact you may or may not know about. Have you ever wondered why the pathway is red? The reason that they are red is because the Imagineers determined that the pathway should be red so that the greenery in the areas visually looked much more rich green color. I mean, it pays off because the World Showcase is just so beautiful. As we're making our way to Germany, there's actually two fun things I want to show you guys. First fun fact here in Germany are gonna be these knights here. We see these first two knights right here. They're pretty rad looking, they're cool, but there's nothing exciting on those. However, this knight is pretty sweet man sweet. The reason why, there is a hidden Mickey on his crown. Let's zoom in, hopefully you can see this. You see the hidden Mickey right on his crown? Right in the middle. As soon as you turn to the left, the other fun fact is right here, this clock. The fun thing about this clock is that every hour on the hour, there's going to be a wooden girl or a wooden boy that pops out. It's really cool. Off to America. Here we are with our next fun fact that you may or may know about in America. You know how like Disney Imagineers use, I don't know, with like forced perspective, you know what I mean, to make buildings look larger and grander than they actually are? But here, they actually make it look smaller? What? Here the building is about five stories tall, but the windows over here were lengthened and the doors are enormous in order to make the building look to be only three stories tall. A true three-story building wouldn't have been tall enough to make an impression in the World Showcase. So Disney had to make a large building and use the force perspective to use it visually three stories to stay true to the theme. Leaving America, off to Japan to show you two fun things.
Here's the next fun fact. In Japan, at the World Showcase in Epcot, this statue. This statue here was actually and originally a gift from the government in Japan to the Magic Kingdom when it first opened. As I said, this was actually a gift from the government in Japan to the Magic Kingdom when it first opened. It stayed there in the Magic Kingdom the whole time until Epcot was created. Then it was moved here to be in the Japan World Showcase and it's been here ever since. No recreations, no nothing. This is the original one. Off to the second thing I wanna show you guys in Japan. It's not a fun fact, but who doesn't love a hidden Mickey? Here we're at the beautiful Koi Pond in Japan and I could stare at this thing all day. I mean, would you look at these Koi's? Just look at them. However, some people do miss that there is a hidden Mickey in here. It's not in the rock formation. It's right here on the grate. That's a good one, man. Let's keep walking. So here we are at Morocco. When the sun sets and the park's about to close, illumination, as we know, takes over the park. Well, for now, until that goes away, but that's a different story. When you look around about halfway through the firework display, all the other countries light up, except for Morocco. Morocco is the only one that does not light up at night during illuminations. The no lighting during the fireworks was actually intentional. It was an accident. The intention was because of the religious beliefs in Morocco. Let's continue. Before we head off to France for a fun fact, I wanna stop here and take a look at this bridge. There is this huge bridge between France Pavilion and the UK Pavilion. Imagineers put this here to intend that when you walk across here, from France to the UK, you're walking across the English Channel. This all plays to the theme in the area, but that's like, that's pretty neat, right? Next fun fact you may or may know, not know about, we're here to talk about this Eiffel Tower. Just like what we were talking about in America, that forced perspective to make things look bigger than they actually are, well the Eiffel Tower isn't that big actually. It's probably about the size of this building here, maybe a little bit smaller, but they use forced perspective to make it look bigger than what it actually is. The fun fact is not that though. The fun fact is that this has a bird repellent on it. That's right, you heard me, man. This has a bird repellent on it, so no birds can land on the Eiffel Tower. The reason for that being is because that forced perspective we talked about, if a bird landed on, the, on top of the Eiffel Tower, it would look like the bird was too big or something like that. It would, it would take away from how tall or that forced perspective we were talking about of the Eiffel Tower. So they put a little bird repellent, not harmful of course to any animal, so Disney made sure to be cautious about that. No birds can land on this thing. That's amazing. Next time you're here, just sit back and notice you will not see one bird land on that Eiffel Tower. Let's continue. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're heading over to Canada. Have you ever heard the expression, one is not like the others? 
Well, that's what we're gonna talk about here. We're gonna talk about these totem poles. Now, if you notice, there are three total totem poles here in Canada. One, two, and three. Now, the fun thing about these totem poles is one of them is actually real. Two of them are not real. Do you know which one is the real one? Let me give you guys a second. Figure it out. Leave your answers in the comments below or just wait till I tell you. So which one is it? The two on the right, is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? If you said this one, you are incorrect. It's this one here to the left. This is the only real totem pole here in Canada. This was actually hand carved by David Boxley. And it is said that this thing weighs roughly 700 pounds. As I said, this one here and that one there, these were not hand carved. These were actually made of fiberglass. Last fun fact of the day that you may or may not know about is the miles that you put in here at the World Showcase. If you start from Mexico and walk all the way here to Canada, you have put in 1.25 miles. For any of those who keep track of Fitbit, and while you're walking, if you stop at the other countries in the World Showcase, look around, go in the gift shops, you're actually gonna mender more walking distance, much more walking distance that you can add to that Fitbit. And or calorie counters or step trackers or whichever you have you. Well, that's gonna do it for me today here at Epcot at the World Showcase, giving you some fun facts you may or may not know about. I hope you had a good time. I hope you may have learned something a little bit. Next time when we come back here, we're gonna take a closer look at each individual country and give you some more fun facts. Until next time, vlog finito.